Hi guys, welcome back. This is Frank here from ForYouToBrew.com. Another edition of our Brew Guide sessions. We just love spending this time with you, being with you in your lounge, your kitchen. This brew method we're gonna do right now is, is a Chemex. This is known as a Chemex. Uh, it's been around for a long time as well. Just a beautiful, beautiful uh, tempered glass, stunning looking, uh, and produces a very clean, very nice and clean coffee, we'd say. So. Here we have our bonded Chemex papers. Um, these come in these squares and what we usually do is just open the, the one side of it and the line of, the, so there's more on the one side and less on the other, but it doesn't matter, very thick. So I just usually pour it in like that. So we get that center line of the fold is in front and it gives us that beautiful V. So here I'm gonna zero it. Firstly, what I'd like to do I'm just going to pre-wet the paper. Obviously the bonnet paper is dry. I want it slightly moist. My water is already beautiful temperature. And I'm just going to give it a circle. Just pre-wet it. Let it drip down. I'm going to grab it here. Hold that over my kettle. Whilst I just empty the water. Place it back, there we go. Let's get that back in, fold to the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using my Hario scale because I do wanna measure the water. Again, with this brew method, we're gonna use the one is to 15 ratio. There's parameters we can play with how you want your coffee boulder. So I'm, I've got 360 mils of water and I've got around 24, 25 grams of coffee, more or less. Um, what I want to do is, is just, it doesn't have to be 100%, I just wanted to play around with it. So I've got a beautiful, beautiful coffee blend that I'm using from For You To Brew, a Colombia, Tanzania and Uganda mixed in there. I love the two Africans and the South American, just the flavor is sweet and bold, it's smooth, it's versatile and it's, uh, it's, it's a medium, medium coarse grind setting. So on our grinder, uh, we've got a Guatemala packet grinder, every grinder has a setting but medium coarse. So kind of like, I would say, pour salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it straight onto the pre-wetted bonded paper, tap it out, I've got everything in there. Um, I'm going to zero it, and as I start pouring, I'm going to let it bloom a little bit. I'm going to start the time at the same time, and for the first 30, 40 seconds, I'm just going to let it bloom a little bit. Here we go. Have fun and enjoy. So I would recommend that you get a scale or a timer, a scale to weigh. Coffee is always about weight to water ratio. The amount of coffee compared to the water. <clears throat> One of the very important factors we'll discuss in another session is the grind setting. Your grind setting per brew method is key. You can have the most amazing coffee and have your wrong grind setting. And ratios of water will make it feel a bit stronger or slightly more diluted and watery. So the ratio is important, but what's more important is the ground setting, very important. Um, so do watch out for that, that brew method teaching, that little video we're gonna do. That's vitally important for you to understand various ground settings for various brew methods. All right, so I've already got almost 51, 52 seconds. I'm just gonna add it. So what you don't want is you don't want the coffee grounds to start to dry, the pack almost become dry. You keep pouring, keep pouring in a circular motion. And as you can see, with the way this is designed, this sort of cone shaped out and it flares out, it runs beautifully down the side, produces such a delicious clean coffee, like I've said. And uh, I'm sure if you haven't tried a Chemex, once you do, you'd love it. Especially if you don't enjoy your coffee with milk, you're on a bit of a diet, you wanna cut out the milk and the full cream milks, it's a lovely way to do a pour over, produces like an American, which, which wouldn't be an Americana, but like a filter coffee, very nice and clean, delicious. So let's continue. I want to go to 350, 360, close enough. I want it to be a little bit lighter in color, I want it to be a little bit smooth and clean, um, to have a subtle flavor coming through. And that's what I love about the Chemex. There's ratios you can play with. The amount of coffee to water, like I said. More, less water, but bolder. There's ratios you can play with. Uh, one is to 15, one is to 18, one is to 12. 
But the reality for me, like I've said, is the ground setting. As long as you have the key, your ground setting accurate where it should be, that's perfect. Sometimes what I like to do is just, there we go, give it a little air. And you've got to watch as the water pours down that you don't go beyond your point. So just keep an eye on your water weight. The bonded paper is very thick, so do take note that it will take a little bit longer than some other cone shape pour overs. But it's lovely, it just produces a good flavor. We're almost there, it looks delicious. We still have water enough pouring through. We're around 330 moles or grams of water. That looks beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my empty, like I said, I'm just using my milk pitcher. Keep it handy. I feel that I'm at the right place weight wise. Amount of water. Here we go. That could just sit in there and you can throw it away. I have a stirrer, we don't need a stirrer. Now, it's to taste. It's beautiful, beautiful. Let's pour it. It's aerated. Beautiful color, like I said, I wanted it just light as fruity. Smells delicious. Tastes sweet and clean. Enjoy.